Good afternoon, <laughs> my most ethical ladies and gentlemen and every creature above and in between, however you identify yourself, so long as it's ethical. I appreciate you, the universe has appreciate you, and I'm just going to positively affirm that now that we're budging into our Wednesday, midpoint Wednesday. Now, I'm trying not to get to, oh, oh, let's first off. Angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages, my chakras, my auras, my space, my work, and that of our children's. Without possession to any negative, um, any ill intent, entity, or possession. Okay? Because I know they're trying to target our children now, and fuck that shit. They're going to miss like clones, let me tell you. Stormtroopers. There's a purpose to every realm of divinity every realm of sentience it carries divinity so we're so thankful for those who even are who claim to be or are structured to be straight shooters but they they miss they miss they're, they're <laughs> it's like there's something wrong with the angle perspective I think that's mainly the, the issue, right? If you try to cookie cutter everything, you know, shortcut your way to a killing spree, to slay, you're going to miss. You're going to miss. I had to watch my words there for a second to make sure that I wasn't dooming anyone. And I, I don't think um, I'm dooming anyone who's living in a realm of... Um, following their um, inner light compass okay so don't you worry folks if you're doing good work out there keep it up you're doing great okay uh, so okay let me give you a little update oh first off this is the first time that I've worn this do you like it do you like it it's a little cultural thing if you know the background you know you know you you certainly appreciate it <laughs> it's a hard thing to like pull off if um, uh, yeah, it, I, I feel like it's kind of a hard thing to pull off, but I kind of like it. It's like I Love Lucy kind of thing with a mesh, and it's summer, and it's like freaking hot, but it's cute. It's just a little bit of a cover-up, so you're not seeing too much. Um, but, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I wore it today, and I'm still, obviously, I'm still wearing it. Um, but, yeah, I decided I'm, I'm not going to be ashamed of my background, and this used to be my mother's. I think um, she never wore it because there was like a, not scotch tape, but masking tape. Um, I remember like there was a series of them that she had um, with the inscription from her um, sister. Um, like I think one of her dearest sisters um, that just like was revered amongst like all the siblings. Um, and um, like kind of like the fairy godmother type of feel looking out for, um, the rest of, like, the crew, and so, like, a lot of the things were, like, custom made, um, um, that she made herself, and I think maybe this is one of them, I think, I don't know, um, but it, it came from that series, and I decided I was going to keep it, because I was like, hmm, I could do something with this, um, you know, this is in my teenage years, and so we're, like, you know, a decade, a decade and a half later, basically, I, I've kept it, like, intact, I'm like, there, I'm going to do something with you. I'm going to pull this. I'm going to put this, you know, I'm going to trend this. Basically, like, it's a dicky shirt, but, like, I love Lucy style. It's cute. I mean, it, this is the mind-boggling part of it. Like, you know, the, the, the little much there. But um, it's cool. It's, like, stationary drawstrings. But, um, okay, now that we've got our fashionistas um, <laughs> um, thirst quenched <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> so i decided to do something special for my son because we still have those banners up for you know his birthday that passed months ago um and and you know i'm not gonna reiterate the backstory behind it but it's long overdue and um i took him to the salon for the first time to get you know his hair done and all of that and, um, just like, it's kind of like a back to school type of thing too. I mean, it hits like so many spots as far as on the spectrum of, you know, 
um, making an effort, like quality time together too. And so we did that today because today's my day off. And, um, and so that like, there's divine timing and everything. Oh my, oh, oh my goodness. I'm so I'm like, why am I feeling a lot right now? Anyway, so I, um, I didn't want him to stress out. Um, so instead of going to the bank right before that for like some kind of cash tip, I was going to do it after I dropped him off. And I just like, I went from point A to point B to C to D and then like freaking like seriously to get freaking just a consideration out of the preference of any like hairstylist out there to have a cash tip rather than on the card. And I made so many efforts. Like, yeah. I went to one shop. I was like, okay, I'm going to buy some. I can buy it like a little small something that we can share, like a little treat for us and um, get cash back so I can do it. It was within the strip mall or whatever. And then um, they said, oh, we don't do that here. But here's, here's a sample. And so I'm like, okay, okay. I'll run around, see if like I want to just get anything. I mean, the least I can do is have my presence there and um, kind of draw in customers because, you know, like people are more apt to, um, um, like be, um, attracted to a certain place if they see like a certain headcount. And it's basically what goes on in like social media too. And that's why people buy their way in. That's like their legitimate way of being authentic, but also having to put your foot in the door. So I, I understand that, but there are people who, um, take like great measures to, do that when it's like that's overdoing it like you definitely do not have thousands of views within the first hour or even within the first 30 minutes and then tens of thousands within like just two days like are you fucking kidding me you are those those are the people where you gotta like really watch out for them like their ethics um like what their priorities are if they're really trying that hard to really get through like to buy into those measures. Not saying that they're like bad people, but you got to be very um uh decisive in discerning what kind of crowd you deserve, like what you belong to. And um and if that matches your energy then do you do you. But for me no. No, no. So um and I get to see the wonderful positive effects of making such decisions in such timely manners and just being very, um, um, brute with that, um, um, with basically my claims to the world. And, uh, so that's where immediate gratification comes in within this league, um, this phase of life, because there's got to be some type of give. And I know that, th like the divine um beyond the veil working behind the scenes is just like they're constantly working with all of these changing dynamics and um even my star families like they, they want to make themselves known like <laughs> okay so let me finish the story about like <laughs> so then i they're like oh well um you know 7-eleven does it and these are like kind of like ritzy like you know mustachey kind of guys um at this place, you know, and, um, and so I'm like, okay, that's cool. So I'm there. Um, I'm at the 7-Eleven, this like cornerstone 7-Eleven. And like, I'm deciding on like the cheapest thing, but like the thing like to get that I can, you know, make use of. And, um, so I finally decide I go to the counter and I'm trying to do like, they give this option 10, 20, whatever other. So I'm like, okay, you know, 30 bucks, you know, like, I just need some variation based on, like, the work that's put on, put in versus, like, what's really good. So I do that, and they're like, it's not going through, like, three times through. And they're like, oh, no, we only do $10. I'm like, but it gives me the option right here. And so, anyway, that's what happened there. And, um, yeah, that was kind of annoying. <laughs> so, like, I was, so then I decided to go, like, stop by the place. And I'm like, okay, are you going to be here for another 15, 20 minutes? Because I just need to stop by the bank. And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's good. So then I go to the bank. I'm, like, on my way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm checking, like, the, um, on my phone, like, the directions. And there's a motorcycle cop that comes right by me. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And I, I put it down. And, um, he goes up right behind me. So then I have to take a left turn. I have to like park or whatever, realizing that he like pinned me. 
And, um, I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't, um, uh, I didn't, like, I don't know this area very well. This is our first time really here. And it was true. I mean, the story didn't, like, match up 100% because I'm like, it's right by this place. Because he's asking about it. But, like, I didn't realize it was by that place because that's how, like, I really don't know the area. Like, I've been to the place right next to it, but, like, I was completely oblivious to, like, dude, if you know me, you know. And, um, and so, uh, yeah, he's like, oh, well, um, oh, so are you from around, like, this place? I'm like, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's more so, like, close to here. And he was like, oh, you know what place I, I like going to? And he said, um, I can't say it. I can't say it. But um, I said, oh, I haven't, been a, I haven't been out in a long time, so, you know, I'll check that place out. And um, so I give him, like, all of the license registration, all of that. And I was like, uh, so he ends up giving me, uh, like, I'm like sweating it, like, but I'm trying not to. I'm like, you know, this guy is a really nice guy. Um, and, uh, you know, you can tell he's just doing his job. So I was just telling the angels, like, whatever's due for me is due for me. And it's all for good reason. So, you know, I just surrender and, you know, basically, you know, hand it over to them, those worries. So whatever it is, I know that it's for the highest good, but, um, and uh, so he returned back and I know that doing those things is not necessarily a freebie card. And I think that's part of the reason why um, it's, it's valuable in sharing that just because I ask for things or like, just because I'm in favor with the divine doesn't completely like um, cancel out everything. Like, I know that there are people like that can just bat their eyes or whatever in order to get out of a ticket. And, um, I didn't, I didn't feel like it was correct. And I think I felt like it was, um, more like inauthentic for me to ask him, um, to waive the ticket. Like it was just not like in the vibe. Um, but I knew that, you know, I could have asked, I just didn't, feel like it was correct of me because like I just know um that he any officer could have waived it um but he was just doing his job and it's fucking hot out there and you know they have certain quotas and he's just doing his job and like you know he even <laughs> like my tears were coming down my face like I couldn't I couldn't even look at him I couldn't even look at him anymore after he um he was explaining he's like well I have good news and bad news for you since this is your first like cell phone ticket and it won't go against your record just like don't get one you know like just he was explaining the thing to me and I was like oh uh, yeah and uh and then he And then he acknowledged, he's like, I, you know, this isn't, um, you know, a big ticket. So, um, like I see the tears coming, you know, down, like, all right, you know, it, it's, it's really not that bad. You just, you know, just make sure you to do this. And I said, I don't, I really don't have that much money. Is it okay? Can you do an extended plan or something? I'm like, by the, like, and he said, yeah, yeah, you can do that. And I said, okay, thank you. And so, you know, okay, we parted ways, but like. I couldn't, I couldn't get mad at him, like, I didn't, I didn't feel mad at him, I wasn't, I mean, he was a good person, um, and I just, so anyway, um, I, I was like, I was gonna buck up, because, um, um, I had to see my son, and I didn't, I don't want him to feel bad about it costing extra, so, um, I was gonna hide it from him, but, uh, um, he had, he didn't acknowledge, you know, he's, it was, it was okay, like, um, so then, you know, uh, it was, it was fine, <laughs> but then, like, as we were, um, going back to, like, grab some tea to kind of, like, just, you know, seal the deal, like, um, hold on real quick, give me a second. Okay, so, um, anyway, um, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, just to, like, spend a little bit more time together. And just, like, you know, like, that's what, you know, girlfriends do. That's what somebody, like, any um, person, you know, it's just, it was, it was fine. And, 
And so I decided, like, we passed by, like, a lot of um, other um, police officers there. But, like, there were, I noticed that there were a couple attending to, like, this huge accident that had happened um, with um, the, um, the like, an ambulance, what, um, fire truck there as well. And there were several cars pulled over. And I, it just occurred to me that, you know, um, being pulled over, like, in such an instance as well, um, like, you you have no, we have no idea how one thing affects the other. And, like, maybe I just got, like, the, um, the longer end of the stick, basically. Whereas, like, this situation, I could have easily gotten, you know, metal death in, in um, having the shorter end of the stick. It's like, my son was telling me that he saw, like, a bicycle mangled, um, another, like, motorbike, and, like, several cars and somebody laying on the floor, but they didn't, you know, you, you couldn't really detect, um, from, you know, a farther point of view that, like, if there was anything wrong with them, but just, like, the fact that the bicycle was mangled, like, dude, so, anyway, I just have to consider myself, like, saved in several occasions, and also, I had to, you know, tell my son, like, you know, when you have to, like, drive around, also, you're, you're going to have to also, like, beware of such things. Like, there's a lot of people who abuse, um, like, are very um, irresponsible when it comes to driving. And you can't use that as, like, setting the bar, setting the tone. So it's kind of valuable in having to relay this to you. And I wasn't going to tell you this, but, like, you know, after, like seeing this and looking up the cost, like, it, it's not a huge cost of a ticket, but it's something to, you know, it's, it's like, it's reality, it's real, you know, so, anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's what happened there, <laughs> and, um, I don't know why I had to share that with you, but I feel like it's part of my timeline, <laughs> and possibly part of yours, <laughs> And so, anyway, like, oh, after I finally, like, got through it, like, got over that hump, I could feel my eyes, like, feeling, like, really, like, heavy, like, really worn out from such an experience. Like, who, like, dude, I could not stop it, like, when the, the officer was there. And office, some officers, let me tell you, are really turned off by that shit. And, like, at that point, like, I, it, I was just hoping that it wasn't one of those. <laughs> and I was just, like, and just... Because that tells me, like, he's a, he's a really nice guy. Um, so anyway, um, uh, what was I going to say? Hold on, give me a second. I need to... Mm, okay. <sighs> so anyway, here we are. We're going to do... Oh, and so I'm trying not to, like, get all bent on um, certain schedules. Like, yesterday I wanted to um, do, like, a kind of tardy... Um, Monday manifestations thing as on the mm, what is it the Lionsgate portal, but the Lionsgate portal appears um a little differently like to um anyone that um like you know kind of like the Fae like uh um Pixies Fae you know elementals they make themselves known and appear to others that um in in the way that they're meant to so. I remember in, um, on TikTok, there was, like, this fairy specialist or whatever with her degree and all of that. <laughs> um, you know, that that's cool and all, but, like, she was, <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, she was such a bitch, like a snob snood when it came to, um, other energies. Like, no, it's not all this or that. It, there's, like, dark energies, too, and it's like, dude, everything has its polarities, but... You're going to shit on people who are, um, uh, like, talking up the, like, the, the most beautiful um, aspects of such a realm? <laughs> like, just to prove that you, like, know more than others or than, than, the, than the popular <laughs> opinion or whatever? So anyway, the first time I said something about that, I got backlash by, like, a supposed supporter, maybe her in disguise. I don't, I don't know. Um, I never said her name. Um, but like everybody kind of knows. <laughs> um, and everybody knows that vibe. And that's why like there was so much retaliation behind it. 
Oh, hold on real quick. Okay. <laughs> Oopsie. Anyway, it's Monday manifestations time. <sighs> what is it? Uh, positive affirmations. Monday. Monday affirmation. Dude, I don't know. I don't know what we call it. Why did I even pull out the book? Here. Let's see, spirit. What do you want for us today? Four of Pentacles. Ownership. Accountability. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. I don't know. I mean, it says resistance to change, solitude, unhealthy boundaries, accomplishing your goals but remaining unhappy, obstinacy, the need to relax and accept change gracefully. I feel like the latter is the best route here. I mean, that's that's what I can account to. I mean, yeah, I feel like that's that's correct. Um, I don't know. Am I resistant to change? Maybe I think that's like a collective thing, you know, dude. Um, when you when you have a Lionsgate portal, it's like, okay, so what am I supposed to do now? What what kind of checklist am I supposed to? It's like moving from like um, instead of a JC to like a community college to um, like a UC or Cal State. Um, it's um it's not as easy of a transition let's say if you move from like cal state to a uc um because the curriculums like are kind of like <laughs> some are not applicable like carry over but at least it's guaranteed with community college like a jc um i feel like i have some stu students here some youngins some youngins <laughs> but like i think a lot are well aware if not, this is just an iteration. Just like there's nothing wrong with going to JC. Um, and that's probably not the best way to market it. Um, but there's, how do I say this? Okay, since we're doing positive affirmations, let's say um, it is absolutely um, validating. And it makes absolute sense in order to go to a community college um, for your first couple of years in order to gain the basics to transition over to your preferred state of college. You're not wasting any money. You're not, um, there's a lesser amount of pressure in um, having to acclimate to, um, give me a second, my nose, hold on. Having to acclimate of, um, to a certain environment, to those pressures. Uh, I have to check. But yeah, I mean, it's the smartest way to go, I would have to say. Um, I mean, I came from a college preparatory high school, so, um, and that's where my um, parents made, like, like I would say the biggest sacrifices in having to pay that kind of a tuition and commit to something like that, knowing that they couldn't put their children to, like, through certain clubs and programs, um, for the most part, like, it became more difficult to um engage um like at a um lower income level um and so having to like invest in such a thing in such a thing so anyway um at least that college preparatory school um was able to give you like the kind of um, resources and um, the staff that could speak to that. So um, I was very fortunate um, in in um, having staff members um, 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 speak to it so well. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, what else do you want to say here? Uh, so yeah, it's it's just kind of different when you're moving because the um the styles are different the uh um when between Cal State and UC. Not saying that one is better than the other, but the focus is different. Um, yeah, it's it's just depending on how you want to do things. Like, do you want to call it a potato or a potato, or do you want to have a yam? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what that is. So anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, we got that. Um, okay, just for me, just for me, just for me, spirit. Nine of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Hospitality, community, graciousness, gatherings, festivals, a wish will be granted. <laughs> me, 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 me. Okay, so, <laughs> um, 
Enjoyable celebrations with family, coven, and friends. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, what about just for my viewers here? Ten of Wands. What? But, you know, it could be Nine of Wands, too. Because it's, you know, it's between those pages. Stamina, courage, protection. Be alert to trouble. Protect yourself and your reputation. Stand strong, be on guard. Magical protection work may be required. So, um, magical protection, the very base of that is your intent. Um, so, position it correctly with your heart. Your heart will know exactly what to do. It wants to live. It wants to be free. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. So, um... Yeah. Let's get, let's move into, like, how do I say this? Um, Spirit says that each and every one of you are courageous. It's like, you know what kind of a sad story that would be in order to, like, let's say you're writing a story, like, or, or a cartoon. And it's like, okay, somebody's supposed, like, who could execute Frodo? So it's basically, we're, we're being casted for this role. <laughs> okay? Oh, don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. It's going to be better than okay. Epic. Okay. Oh, this one came through. Three of cups inverted. It hit my tea. My iced tea. It's inverted. Okay. So knowing privately <laughs> that you're well celebrated and that we are invited to certain gatherings that are very private. Oh, a Wheel of Fortune. And it's opened up also to Temperance. Oh, yeah, definitely. So this, these are part of, like, our Destined crew. Okay? These are like our Goonies. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the positive affirmations in, in this is that we're... <sighs> our crew is coming into fruition. Mm-hmm. We're getting to um, be positioned in in a realm where we get to celebrate. And we don't have to post up all of the accolades or whatever. Like, dude, in my garden there was like this gnarly ass spider. Dude, I did the pressure. Like, <laughs> it's funny. Okay. So I have a weak ass pressure to my water system. And it's been like that for several years. I don't know if my ex has been lying to me as far as like the manipulation with the with the um, flow of it because it's like if you flush a toilet then you know what kind of showers we take drip 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 <laughs> and that's like that's what you hope for <laughs> or like you even turn on the like it doesn't even have to be the fucking toilet you turn on the faucet you turn on the hose and it's like drip drip <laughs> drip blah <laughs> so hmm like, what I do with the hose, it's like I, I keep it, like, I basically blue ball it. <laughs> so, keep it, like, under wraps. <laughs> and then I let it, like, fling out. <laughs> so, like, dude, the, like, shooter. <laughs> she has a spider's web. Dude, that, that web is strong, and that spider, like, did not fucking flinch. Did not. It was like, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? What is it like? What is it like? A uh, scenario? I busted a nut uh, in your eye just to show you where I come from. I ve I'm vexed. I'm fuming. I've had it up to here. My days of something are over. Something. Anyway, that's 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 the scenario. And once I saw it climb up, like I was like, no, I'm just gonna have to have, have a better aim, like on its thorax. So I did it. I did it. I, I did a better aim. I was like, let's focus this chi. <laughs> so I channeled the water and it was like, Ding. and that's when it climbed up. I was like, you're a big motherfucker. And so, <laughs> cause it was like, bum, bum. you know, it, it, it took, a, <laughs> it took a while climbing up <laughs> and then so I'm, I'm going to get you. And then, so I was going to get it today and it's gone. It's, it's web is gone. I don't know. My family is taking that shit out right out. I don't, I don't know what scared it, but, like, the only thing that, like, when I was like, what happened to it? Then I pictured a bird, like, swooping and killing that. You know, the, the only bird that could really, like, get to that 
besides like a hawk or whatever oh it's probably a hawk um is um one of its kind of like within the same kind of arena so a crow i have like people who were previously um bidding against me who were hired against me coming through and so whoever that was or was doing these things to help me like enjoy um and gain my sanity within my beloved realms i have to say thank you and i'm just gonna put freaking good shit to you yeah come on dude thank you and um so i was like you know i'm not gonna be afraid of this but i'm not gonna be dumb in approaching it either um and so i was gonna get to it and it was it's, it's gone and so anyway i have to say thank you for this you know I'm excited. We get some playtime for reals, okay? Positive affirmations getting over this Wednesday hump. Okay, so we got Nine of Pentacles and what's on my palm? Oh, the Wheel of Fortune again. Finding happiness and where we're at. Like, we don't need to make any U turns. Like, this is, oh my gosh, this is a driving wheel. So, like, even though, like, I didn't get that ticket waived. And I wasn't seeking to manipulate somebody who is already in good spirits. Like, even if it was, like, a shitty, like, officer. Um, dude, I was just lucking out to getting somebody who was really cool. Like, if I had to think about it, like, okay. Hmm, I would date that kind of a person. You know, he was just cool and chill. He wasn't trying to be cool. He wasn't trying to be chill. He wasn't trying to be anything. He was just... He was cool. Um, so, anyway. Um... Like, yeah, this is, it's like taking the driver's wheel, but, like, that's the coin in the slot. Do you see it in the portal? So this is very much Lionsgate portal energy and being happy with what's going on, where we're at. Like, it might not be, like, the best tasting slice um, of the pie right now, but, dude, it's our pie. <laughs> you know, like, somebody, somebody out there. Oh, this wanted to come out. Two of swords in reverse, yeah. So in sun blocking ourselves, um just confronting this new perspective that you know we are blessed with we have the option to see things in a different light so but why not freaking take it um but like somebody out there thought of like what to do with rhubarb people like there are people who have favorites of rhubarb pie um and and so like it's not sugar coating things it's just like there is value in sweetening up whatever is in front of us making it more enticing um fashioning it in in a more consumable form i mean when you're thinking about like sugar pills like um placebos it's like um it's kind of like the most practical in like the funniest way of um doing your own witchery you know you're concocting something that is both tangible with intangible um benefits and it's like pff, dude that's high level you're like the divine is that's why we are the driver <laughs> we've been nominated not because like um we're designated drivers to people who are like comatose or like not in the right mindset it's because like we're showing up fit for the job is it's not comparability it's like hmm, i'm made for this so um in all seasons you know so um what i'm i don't know why i'm picturing this but like when they're on a hunt for pie um the office they go on this like venga bus tour basically of um trying to get there with like all of these obstructions um and challenges and you know people like kind of getting on each other's nerves in the work environment as well and it's like um it's the bus driver saying like hey are we gonna get there or are we not are we are we um do we have the same goals you know because this is what we're looking at right now and we're down to the wire is what spirit is saying here i mean like that's a that's a tenth pentacle can you even <laughs> freaking legendary <laughs> yeah yep yep okay 
All right, positive affirmations number two. And I'm also called to um, dig up earth magic, too, because of the whole digging thing. All right. Oh, okay, so it wanted us to put to that queen of swords in reverse. So, yeah, again, digging. Digging beneath the surface. How interesting that comes through. And it's like, yeah, you want to come at me? The undertoes, the um, undercurrents of the three of swords. I can, I can be a part of that. Like, I know my world, like, I, I can decipher. I can discern <laughs> what's going on with the undercurrents. So, um, again, we're not taking offense. Like, going back to um, the um, most recent readings, it's like, I'm not going to take offense to any other person's burdens. I'm not going to, like... No, this is not the lost and found department, okay? I'm not um, staking claim or holding any storage for anyone else's um, baggage. So, like, even if it's because somebody was lost or there was a mispairing or a mishap, I'm not going to hold it. I got my own stuff. All right, anything else? Okay. Positive affirmations, I think, number three here. Three or four. Or three. Positive affirmations for this Lionsgate portal energy. Mm, oh, it's a sun card opened up to the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, so what makes you happy? What makes you shine? Okay, because all these things are coming through. Like, dude, the Empress in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, the Six of Swords, Ten of Swords in reverse four of wands the tower the queen of wands and the hierophant in reverse okay like chaos may be going on around us but we're so like you know like the evergreen trees you know um like they can go through many forest fires and all the chaos around them but when you're rooted with that much thickness to like to your bark <laughs> they wanted me to say it like that um to the thickness of your bark you can get through anything that to have a voice like that, to vocalize that into um, our destiny, our universes, and impact other destinies with Phoenix energy. Oh gosh, I felt my legs um, tingle, yeah. Um, there's something very um, calming within that journey. Something very reassuring, even if we're at a pause point and have to look at things objectively. Even if we have to look at the, basically, look at the undercarriage of our chariot, you know? Uh, because... It's, it's keeping us in the here and now, the present times of like, okay, so, um, uh, how do I say it? Like, so looking at the undercarriage, it's just basically maintenance. Um, there's something, angels, you remind me, right? <laughs> if, if it's super important, but, um. Yeah, because, like, if you're, like, in a snowy atmosphere and um, everybody knows that they have to do some kind of maintenance um, because your undercarriage to your car can get really, like, messed up by the snow. So I think that's what, the reason why they put salt on the path, not just to melt the snow, but um, to keep it from messing with the undercarriage. Uh, something about that. Um, so that has something to do with also the the implications of what that means being in a very icy environment where people are just in it for themselves and you're like this freaking sun energy on the top and people are like kind of hating on that um even if it's discreet even if it's like they don't realize it but they have certain verbiage that's like oh i never got that or you know just it's definitely not the sun energy <laughs> um so Anyway, um, like, what makes you happy? And just, like, just ride with that. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So, whatever makes us happy that doesn't harm others um, is is where we're truly meant to be. So, four of pentacles in reverse. How weird we got the nine um, of cups in reverse. Or, what is it? Nine of cups? Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse from the book, and all, but, like, that was upright, and this is, like, in reversal. So, situ situationally speaking, 
um, and per context. Um, it's having us look at like the change of um, view. Mm -hmm. um, that what we're going through is just a simple detour. There's construction ahead. And um, hmm. so sometimes we have to like let things go. We have to let it pass. Sometimes with the undercurrency of, of messaging, we, we know that um, we are, con how do I say it? We feel the flow, um, but we don't have to go against it, which means that we don't always have to engage in it. But, to, but we also are not denying the fact of um, knowing, like acknowledging it. Mm -hmm. like seeing it for what it is so once you it's like kind of like a checkpoint okay it's like okay we're seeing it as it flows um i'm i'm here i'm seeing like a drain that's being unclogged mm -hmm. yeah yeah like we're the gatekeepers to that almost like that's one gate so that's that's something about the lion's gate portal energy i feel like usually the sun card some, well, sometimes it has this, the lion in it, too. But, um... So, Lionsgate Portal. One of the portals that we're faced with is having to let, like, the, um... Letting things, like, clear. The, the, the like, the roof gutters clear. Mm. So when we confront that energy, when we're engaged with it, we're kind of blocking that flow. So we just kind of like nuzzle um, through it, like past it. It's. I thought that the um, when I was picturing the sun, I mean the the starfish and how it moves, I was picturing it more like moving like a squid, you know. But it moves more like how what I'm picturing, like clearing up the clog. Kind of just like galloping along, just kind of nudging it through. Something about the starfish energy is coming through over here. Because it's like under the sea almost. What were we talking about? You know, the star as well. Uh, okay. Okay, one last one, spirit. Before I get into the earth magic. Okay. Three of swords. Um, and then temperance, strength in reverse, and the fool. Okay. So I can, I feel like kind of um, that heartbreak energy is kind of adding to the books. Like it's not always a loss to have this kind of knowledge. You know. Um, like when someone betrays you on any level. You know that um, you're meant to wise up to a certain lesson. And it's not meant to close off any channels. It's meant to... Because like, the, the energy behind this in its lesson is not closing off. It's more like a clearance. I don't know. I'm being told like it's like badass energy. Like, people who are street smart mm, have gone through this. But the wisest of, wisest of those who use street smart knowledge, the most practical form of life experiences, are, um, like, they bear no grudge. Like, they're not, like, holding up that rain gutter, you know? Um, because your roof can buckle, basically, is what I'm hearing. So anyway, um, very much tempered, um, well-balanced, um, yet there's um, still, so it's kind of like, how do I say it? Like, how do, what are, like, you know. Because navigation is not an issue with this, okay? Um, our balance is not an issue. In, and there's no real issue here other than 
really like it's not even really an issue the strength being in reverse it's more like this is the area that is being fortified like our arms are like not having sea legs it's something about fortification within our chi that our muscles are being um like something about our limbs being our root system in action is being um enhanced something like that yeah <laughs> that's what they're talking about. <laughs> okay um so it's like it's kind of living on the edge it's because it's because anybody can be smug in this energy, right? Especially with this behind them, okay? Like, I got here and I'm done, okay? But it's no, there's a continuing continuing journey where there's something bigger that's due for us and that we're rising to the occasion for by swimming. Like, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. It's Nemo's little fin being tested, but it's not even tested. It's it's there's something about being sh it's being strengthened. Yeah, uh, just keep swimming. Just <laughs> that's so sweet. Holy smokes! Bottom of the deck, justice. Holy smokes! <laughs> Top of the deck, form <laughs> Our root system. <gasps> Holy smokes! Justice. Holy smoke. So whatever is happening here is doing us justice. This Lionsgate portal, whether you believe that you've entered it or not, you were like we're in it. If you've reached this reading, you're in it. <laughs> and um it's up to you to decide what you're gonna do with that energy. Yeah, because these daisies in the background, these gerbera daisies, <laughs> um, they have purple centers, right? And these are the banners here too. Mm-hmm. Um, I have Archangel Michael here, but there's something about, um, in this journey, we're taking care of ourselves where we care about how we, um, how we feel, you know, showing up. Okay. They're saying that's that's pretty important because this person like she got she has her nails her toenails done, and you know she's she's looking good. She's got her hair done. It looks like, and you know what I mean. Like she's she's really showing up. But it's not just about the aesthetics. I mean, it's it's part of it, the equation. But um. It's not allowing oneself to be compromised. What's in the bottom of that? Five of Swords. What's behind that? It's like the automatic one-up. Yeah, Three of Wands. Something is coming through where we're winning it. And we don't have to feel that that, that means that somebody else supposedly lost like we've been there we've done the background work seven of pentacles so spirit is just saying like wait for it like you know see looking at spirit's just saying just wait for it <laughs> okay whatever that means <laughs> okay um okay so now it is earth magic time Okay, Earth Magic Time. Positive affirmations for this Lionsgate portal. The aftertaste. <laughs> um, rain in reverse, purification. So again, we're talking about rain gutters and clearing that away. Um, something about a rainbow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, today, um, I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to move on and do my thing. This is before leaving with that whole ticket thing. Um... I was taking out some trash from over here, and then I was doing some protection stuff, like just standard stuff, you know, um, housekeeping basically. Um, and and when I did those things, both times I encountered with this sunny atmosphere. It's like I don't know, 80s or 90s. I don't know. Um, but the clouds are beautiful. 
Moon clouds are beautiful. <laughs> I haven't seen it like that in a long time. And, and they're not even like super thick. They're just spread around, scattered. And like the chaos of the clouds is beautiful. But anyway, I only noticed it like after coming back. So there were like big droplets of water coming through. Like just sprinkled, sprinkled. And both times that I was doing my housekeeping stuff. And I asked my son, did you notice that when you went outside? And he's like, no, no, I didn't see anything. But like, dude, I felt like I was being blessed by the Fae. Like they were just saying that um, <laughs> things are going to be okay. Like we'll even take care of your plants, Tina. Um, while you have to tend to some things, you will get replenishment either way. You'll get enough, seriously. More than enough. And it was just like the... The, the ethers, the, the, the celestials are just blessing me with like this, what felt like random droplets. It's freaking, I'm so <laughs> they, they wanted to, they wanted me to remind, um, the share, <laughs> remind me to share. <laughs> like that, that storyline. It's inside. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> A volcano, volatility, volat volatility what do you say volatility Vol volatility <laughs> okay talk about chaos <laughs> oh sorry volatility okay this is particularly a vol uh, this is a particularly volatile time for you unexpected changes sometimes quite sudden and dramatic are occurring in ways that you have absolutely no control over these appearances may be so powerful as to shake up what you formerly thought of as foundations of your security they may even cause you to reassess the direction of your life the direction your life is taking to question some of your relationships or to reevaluate the work you have chosen although these events may rock your world know that spirit is guiding force behind them it is a matter of finding your trust and that life knows what it is doing in the midst of these terms storms of change it also requires you to make adjustments quickly and not to cling to what was but instead move forward and welcome with your arms wide open what is yet to come all from a place of being present in this moment you truly have nothing to fear. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have Pele with me. So what are you going to say to that? You know, it's, it's kind of in my, in my um, past life blood. So having a deity work to work with is you know like for real, to to start off with goddess Kali like for real that was it felt like I just like stumbled upon that just from buying a a random candle <laughs> it was like a one-off thing and then like a tapestry that just made itself available and it's like from then on like I just said okay let's include you sure let's figure this out and like dude Lifelong friends, like forever. So Pele's coming through here. And, um, why, you know, like, uh, to have, like, two deities that can rock it, that are divine feminine, like, come on. They're, they're reinstilling my faith in, in the divine feminine, that not everybody is going to be jealous and, like, trying to, like, throw you under the bus you know so um they're they're redefining what that perspective is supposed to be and so i applaud that i love it i mean even lilith i don't know why i'm i'm to, being told I, I think basically digging you know um like yeah i feel like that historically speaking y'all yeah. <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that um but these are things that, like, are very grounding that come from the sky, too, in its emission, basically. So, um, <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're going back to scenario. So, um, these are, um, these are energies that want to make themselves known. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So, um... I don't know what changes are supposed to be coming for me, but, I, you know, like, whatever is taken from me or um, hidden from me, 
it always comes to surface in like the most beautiful blessing ever that comes in not just like um multiplied but like the the power of the nth degree basically um so it's like multiplied uh, onto itself like by how many times and so how could you be mad at that like it's it's kind of like the cost of doing business <laughs> so if you want to transact in, in the most abundant way with the realm, you can't be afraid of losing shit. You can't lose your shit based on losing physical shit, you know? And um, now that's not to foretell of anything like written in stone, but it's just like the concept of it. So, like, I let go of a lot of friends and relationships that were bound to, like, the 20 years, basically, that I was with my ex in a very controlling relationship where it minimized what kind of bonds that I was able to make. So, like, it's basically letting go of all of those, you know, um, places in which I found foundations in. Um, and that's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> So, conceptually, I've moved the earth, moved across, you know, different realms of lifestyles. And, like, how do I say it? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't think this thing is, I know that this is not meant to instill fear. Even, even with its markings of verbiage, it, it does sound fear-inducing, but... Like, and it doesn't even really feel like enough for the last statement to say, like, there's nothing to fear. Um, but the affirmation is backtracking to what I've let go of so far. What kind of depiction that means for the abundance to roll in? Like, what what goodness is to come from it that of course there's going to be intangible um benefits to it but there's inevitably and definitely going to be physical things that are highly abundant i just had a little burp there too so that tells me that there are so many um people who disagree with that um and, you know, that's their path to live, you know? So it's kind of effortless in the energy that I give. Um, like, I acknowledge it, but I don't validate it. You know what I mean? I can hear you, but um, I'm not going to listen to it. <laughs> um, I... Um, can see for where from where you're coming from but i don't condone it you know so we just kind of move on without taking on all of that energy um so all that is kind of a lesson in transit uh and you know that's a blessing in itself so here what's what's one just for me mountain strength <laughs> That was fast. <laughs> what the heck? That's so weird. Uh, strength, like, they just said, keep, just keep swimming. And they're like, you're already doing it, Tina. You're basically mentoring others. And, you know, you're yourself when you're hitting rough times, too. Um, but that's not to say, say that, like, I'm unbreakable. But I definitely can mend-ish like, right away. And, um, then I'm already practicing it. And, like, freaking mountain. Did we just say something about the mountain? I don't remember. I, I feel like we did. Um, I don't actually remember. But, um, that, that's very interesting. I'm going to read mountain just for, oh my gosh, can you believe that? This is solid. Because coming after the volcano, I mean, basically... The volcano is a freaking mountain. It's just made of different composite material, right? And it's like, it's rumbling underneath, like something. Like, Pele is already telling me, like, 
she already knows me. I already know her. And it's already within her blood. So, like, this is something that, like, this is a mountain that is, you know, that we can tread on without feeling um, like there's a threat that others can also kind of navigate through. Um, so, mountain. Let's, let's write it. Okay. <clears throat> It makes no sense to deny the strength you have at the cost of allowing yourself to be reactive and subject to, subject to external influences far beyond what is healthy for you. Imagine yourself as a mountain of strength, solidly grounded in the earth, your head held high as if it were touch, as if you were touching the sky. So, uh, I'm sorry, do so without straining, um, just as the mountain itself does not strain. The current situation calls for you to be vigilant, but not to the point of, of fear or paranoia. Be that rock of strength that you are capable of becoming. The solidness of your resolve will be clearly communicated when you model yourself after the towering immensity of a mountain, impenetrable and inscrutable. Stand steady, uh, stand steady like a rock is what is called for at this time. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, I have to tell you, like, I had to reiterate, you know, like, um... Uh, like, cause there's newer people coming in and older crowds too. I, how do I say it? Um, there are people who do like the tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of views within like such a short time span. They're buy into that. And like, there's a little inkling part of me. I'm like, should I keep that? Should I keep that? Like, I mean, they're just basically regurgitating the same material that that's basically kind of trying to note, like, um, I side with you basically. And, um, there's something about it where I'm just like, no, I, I have to stand ground to what I believe to be true. And I, I can't condone that energy. Like, to allow that into a new world, um, that's for people to buy into um, that scheme. It's not good. It's not healthy. And once they start acknowledging that, like, I didn't completely block them out, but, like, I took them off my feed, you know, recommendations. Um, and it's like, you'll still have your other plenty of thousands or however many qu you quantify to be of value, but you're not going to have me in league, and I'm not going to completely block you off. There's other channels where I can, you know, still receive your flow of information, but I refuse to so long as you buy into that. So I give people room to like wiggle room to change and, um, to modify and upgrade their, um, their ethics integration. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't have to name every single one. I don't have to count every single one. It's just merely like, no, um, rain gutter, like I'll, I'm going to allow for better flow. Um, so, okay, so to my most ethical crew here, <laughs> but it was for you, whoop, lotus flower enfoldment, okay, so we're, you're on a, we're <laughs> on a growing spree, hmm, mm hmm it's coming in like tidal waves, mm hmm but it's very gentle, <laughs> definitely, which is wonderful because, um, with like the rain, the purification that's coming down, you can see that in amongst your whole environment. Um, but yet you're undisturbed by it. You know that, that it's adding to your foundations as a lotus flower. I mean, you emerge out of something, right? So to l heighten that water level, it's like that just means extra growth for you, right? Rising above all of that. And, um, and being closer to the sun, if, if anything, if you're already like grown, it rises you up closer to, um, that light. Lotus flower, what's in it for you? Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Your spiritual unfoldment is occurring at all times, whether or not you are aware of it. It is inevitable as long as you put your trust in the hands of the creator, the one who holds the light. Like the lotus, your soul is always reaching for the light to fulfill its karmic destiny. But even in that process, there are periods of darkness and times of rest. It is a natural cycle, one that cannot truly be coerced or halted. It has an innate rhythm of its own, one that is unique to the being that is you. You do not need to strive or be driven by spiritual ambition. It does no good to try to force growth upon yourself or others, for that matter. Allowing is the key here. Allow the place in you that naturally wants to follow the light to do so while recognizing that even when you have complete faith, 
you will face challenges and occasionally suffering. Your steady faith and love will guide you on the journey of returning to the light. I like it. I like it. All right. That is all for that. And now it is Banana Grams time. <laughs> banana Grams time. Okay. Positive affirmations Wednesday or Tuesday, Monday on a Wednesday. Which one? Spirit? T and O. Okay. So it's, it's moving to and fro. Um, yeah, it's a journey. So I read it as T and then O. They, they wanted me spiffy Specifically, they wanted me to specifically read this like that. No, um, they wanted me to specifically read it like that because the O is like no stone unturned kind of thing. Um, so instead of like it reading inversely, this um, it would be like not to put any like not to put extra work into it, like overtime, like not to go aggro on it. And it just reiterated what we were talking about there. Okay, so M T E S G T A. Um, e, again, what is it? Good times ahead. GTA, good, good times ahead. I'm supposed to define something off of that. So let me write it down. Let me scribe it. GTA. There's also gamers here, obviously. GTA. Okay, alright. R-A-R-O-U-I-D-S-M- T N G U D T W O F N. So I see gone. Goners. Hmm. Yeah, so somebody we're gonna have to say goodbye to. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Do I see tomorrow here? T O M O R R O W. We have tomorrow. Tomorrow's? We have tomorrow's. What? Tomorrow's. That's the stream. Should we get that? Okay. Um. I, I see Siemens, like Siemens Medical Group, you know, kind of thing. S I E M A N S or E N S? I don't know. Well, we have both here, so whatever. Um. Stone, store, remote. Oh, somebody's doing remote viewing. Stone, store, remote. It's also like having a remote, like calling the shots basically of what settings that we want to have in our life. <laughs> like picture in picture, you know? Um, um, sun. Mm. S'mores. Tread. Oh, like your your tires. Um, again, through the rain and all of that. Um, set fire to the rain. Adele. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, storm. It's like all put all together there. Um, more, something, more, 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 how do you like it, how do you like it, <laughs> okay, who sings that, I don't know, um, stream, mm -hmm. live streams, okay, uh, <clears throat> oh, what, oh, hi, I did not see you there, um, what else? What else have we got? Rams. Somebody likes the rams. Or it could be a spirit animal, spirit totem. Mm, I don't know. Rams don't always headbutt. Because, like, this is not about going aggro onto something. This is, hmm. I don't know the sports team very well, so... Hmm. Okay, we're going to get names in here. Because I said so. Um... I have a wonton and wanton. Um, side. I don't know why. I feel like I have San Diego here. 
S A N D I E G O. Yep, we have San Diego people from San Diego here. Or maybe somebody's deciding, like trying to decide to go to San Diego. I don't know why I'm getting that. I have, I feel like I'm getting sorority here, but there's no why. Soiree. We have a soiree. Maybe there's a soiree going on in San Diego. I don't know. Maybe there's event planners here that are planning a soiree. And San Diego's the key for you. That's what they said. Dior. Yeah. Somebody's, yeah, somebody's doing that. They have Dior taste. Okay. And um, tram. Train. <sighs> Are we going to go through names? Marie, Maria, Nigel, but there's no L here. I don't know why I'm getting Nigel. Nigel is hidden. Sorry. Um, doo -doo -doo. Stan. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Morse. Some I think I'm supposed to somebody's speaking in code that's present. I don't know. But somebody I'm supposed to divine something off of Morrissey because of that. There's something very close to that. Um hmm. okay. Um smart. Hmm. Dress. Hmm. Winter. Yeah, somebody's like into fashion. Uh, like Anna Winter. Some there's something about that. I mean, other than it being a season, I just really feel like having to mention soiree, San Diego, Dior, and um, something like medical as well. Um, all right. I don't know. There's plenty of names here. Tina, Trina, uh, Marianne, um, Gina. Mm, Tessa. Teresa. Mm. Annie, Ronnie, Ron, Ross, Aaron, Emma, Matt, Irene, D Dane, Dan, um, Tori, Terry, Tara, um, Donnie, hmm. Don, um, Jerry, Target. Something about a target. Hmm. Hmm. Matisse. Something. Yeah, somebody's into like art or something. We have Matisse here. Hmm. Oh, I was going to say Maltese, like the dog, but it's Matisse. So. Hmm. Hmm. Rudder. We have like Paul Rudder here. We might have some Paul Rudder fans.